This is a place for planting, for digging, for harvesting, for relaxing. It's a place to get your hands dirty, but most of all, it's about having fun. And that's what you'll always have when you're in the garden with Doug Oster. You want a green thumb too, don't you? Well, it took until February to finally get our winter coat on and we're not gonna be out here long. It's starting to get cold. Our first stop is to take a look at this deer repellent that we installed in the fall to see if it's working. Well, like I said, last fall we put these deer off repellents in and it's something I hadn't used before and you can see the rhododendrons are still looking good. The deer haven't been after them yet, uh, but we're going to keep watching and I like this idea because you've got the deer repellent underneath and the weather can't get to it. I learned about it from Plumline Nursery and they're using it out in the field and I think it, it's working pretty well. Now, before it does get cold, I want to show you some plants that have actually started to bloom. Last week we talked about a hellebore that starts blooming in November. This is one that starts blooming in the spring, but because of the warm temperatures and being close to the house, it's already started to bud up, usually not blooming until March, but there's really nothing we can do about it. We're gonna cross our fingers and hope it doesn't get super, super cold. And then in the spring, hopefully we'll have some nice flowers here. Now, that's enough time outside. Let's go to the greenhouse. We've got a job to do in there and it is a mess. My mother would refer to that as disaster headquarters. Follow me. As you can see, I've got my work cut out for me. This place needs to be cleaned up for seed starting, but before we do that, let's divide some house plants. So this is a great time of the year to split up house plants. This is actually a very common house plant, only just a different form of it. This is called Sansevieria. I brought the more common version here. A lot of times called uh, snake plant or mother-in-law's tongue because it's so sharp. This one is Sansevieria cylindrica, which means it's very cylindrical, the way it grows like this. And there's nothing to this. this these uh, plants are basically indestructible. And you can see that the pups are just off to the side here. And I'm just going to kind of pull them off just like that. And then we're going to pot them up right next door. All right. One in here. The only way you can kill a plant like this is with kindness, too much water. And so these really love to be dry and they make great gifts also. All right. That's all there is to it. And I'll put this back in there. This guy goes in here. What do you think? Started with one. Actually, I'm going to pull this guy out of here too. Started with one right here. I'm going to put some more soil in here and we're done. All right, let's finish up. One more tip for house plants. Not only do we keep them on the dry side, they need to be clean. So wipe off those leaves so they can breathe. Now check me out online. That's where you can find more blog posts, garden stories, videos. And until next week, maybe, maybe I'll get this place clean. I don't know. We'll see you then.